going on guys today's video is a recap of me and Ern driving back from miami all the way back to vegas with fat joe's personal collection and me doing a little bit of shopping and uh, well giving Ern a lot of shit over three days so if you want to watch me giving Ern shit for three days on a 30 minute video just sit right here and let's just laugh a little together yeah uh, you should probably get a mask to cover all the mud ass teeth <laughs> What are you listening to? <laughs> so I was listening to, to get my Spanish warmed up. We got another we got another rental. Um so we could run around we could run around Orlando area. Um gonna go check out my mom's cause my mom's moved out here. And then we're gonna go to this mall, maybe do a little bit of vintage shopping. Before I do all that, I gotta get a monster though. So I'll check in after we get this monster. Yo, guarantee, Jay. So now I'll tell you this: like when I sold my the first time I had to like sell, I sold sneakers, right? I I had like a genuine need, right? I had to, I had to come up, I had to get that money. But yo, I cried, I was butt hurt. But like, I'm gonna tell you like this, Joe. The second I got that little money in my hand, I was like, man, fuck them shoes. Like I was, you know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna yeah, yeah, serve. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna be. That's but, how I'm gonna be. But the thing is, is that with you, it's so different because. You you're not selling them because you have a need you like it's like i mentioned to you yesterday you've had all these shoes for all these years it opened a lot of doors for you over the years now you know what i'm saying like some of those shoes you know the condition that they're in like you you, you can't they're they're more collector's pieces at this point and you don't got room for that you need yeah. stuff that you can wear yeah. so this is gonna pay this is gonna pay for the next thousand sneakers or more the next ten thousand yeah. sneakers so yeah. so that's how you gotta look at it bro like? people are hitting me crazy complex sneakers posted this shit like took a lot of the f little clips that i posted and tagged you and me in it um yeah i put them all in my story nah that's dope and then uh i talked to um i talked to the staff we're gonna get everything in there as soon as i get back i talked to richie this morning setting up the back end side of it for you guys so you can look at the account and see what you got there or not but i'm excited this shit's gonna make a lot of noise man like i think you know yeah. like you you mayor and clark are like the the godfathers of sneakers in new york and and the, the fact that you know now two of the three of y'all have come through and are allowing Urban Necessities to be that outlet, bro. Like, it's it's major for the sneaker yeah, game, bro. Yeah, it's the big luck. It's yeah, big no, luck. man, I, I, I think... Check the real with the real ones. No, nah, yeah. the real with the real ones. I, I, I appreciate you, bro. I really do, man. It means a lot. Like, you know, I, I, I've i told you a lot of stuff, bro, over the nah, last three, four days. I had a lot of fun days. with you for, like, three, four days, it's bro. Facts, yeah, bro. a lot of fun. Yeah, nah, we'll definitely... You know? I'm definitely nah. You yeah, bro. same. Like I want to, I want to link with you. Like I said, when you're you're back back east, man. I just want you to do that movie. You know when you do that YouTube. Like, I'm trying, ass. bro. I I got. I'm 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 gonna try to put Martin Scorsese on it right now. I'm on the phone with him now. Last night I told May about that Jay Z that four horsemen. He was like, "What the fuck? How you got your hand on nah, that?" Nah, yeah, that was a he that was like that was a Jay Z personal sneaker. Yeah. That was like a Jay-Z personal Air Force One. Right. Damn, that's wild, bro. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just the whole shit. Like, some of the stuff you had in there made no sense, bro. Like, it makes sense, yeah. but it made no sense. Like, it you, made no sense, you, yeah. you, was, you was touching, you was touching yeah. unicorns, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so, but... <laughs> But I, like I said, I think I definitely in a couple months want to like once you're settled in and you done, yo Jay, I got you know I don't got this this new sneaker room yeah. rearranged and and I, I don't. I told me to go to the store today and pack up whatever other sneakers we're gonna send to you. you okay. Know what I'm saying that 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 I got there. Okay. Yeah. And I, right, all right, bro. Enjoy your weekend. Seven I mean, six, thank you, bro. I'll, I'll definitely right, hit you brother. when I touch down. I'll be in Vegas probably like by the end of the week. It's funny because when we we're on the phone last night, he's like, and I told him, I said, yo, because you know, I'm designing, I'm designing a sneaker room in the house. And 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 the builder was like, you know, we're gonna do this little room here. And I laughed. I said, yo, this little room is just for the stuff that's gonna come in in the next three months. We gotta open up another room because I know what Joe's gonna do. There's gonna be another collection. It's not gonna be as insane as it was before. You know, it's not gonna be whatever it is, but it's gonna be some shit. And then you know, we still have the the relationships. Right. We still have the. 
what's up? You know what I'm saying? We still have that. You know, and, and they have it ten times better than I do. Right. So you know, imagine. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, I know the new collection is well. The big, I think the biggest difference that's gonna happen, like from what how he handled this collection, to to what he what he puts together now. Right. He's gonna take care of this right. collection. It's gonna be taken care of now, because now he's gonna be number. You know, not that you know, not that I work for him, but he's gonna be closer to me. So, and I still love it. And then he was baffled that you know when like when I, when I, I was like, I still, you know, I got nine hundred pairs sneakers still cracked. He's like, huh? I said, yeah. I said Jay left me with like six hundred pair. I said, you know, <laughs> yeah, you don't bought so. So you don't bought. Three hundred pairs. You bought three hundred pairs. Like nine hundred pairs. I mean, probably, I'm gonna say 200 because maybe I maybe I maybe you know the 600 might have been a little light. I might have had more than 600. So see, that's what, you know what I'm, I'm that's what I'm telling you. By the time we come back and do this shit again, like you had said, man, you are gonna be fucking around have five thousand pairs, bro. At the rate you. No, 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 no. It might, it, no, it, no. Might, it might, it might, you know, if I, if I do this again, if I do this again when I'm 50, it might be 1500 pairs. Right. Yeah. And then one good one good summer where you're actually out and about running around the world and. Nah, yeah. but nah, it was it was a very unique. Like I I can't thank you enough, bro. You know, like that shit was with Joe is so different because, like, hey, yo, bro, that terror squad that terror squad picture was worth the whole trip. Exactly. Keep it a buck. It's nah, but yo, the op, like, there's always it's the same thing. Like, look, bro, I I put this is this is how I feel about it. You Clark yeah. and Joe and Joe, where that orange box, that gray box era of forces in New York. Hey, he, he said you called him the orange box king. <laughs> yeah. You know, I I because it, it was like 80% of that garage was orange boxes. For those eras, for that 10 to 20 years, like you think Air Force is in New York, there's only three names you mentioned, right? right? Yeah. That was you, him, and Clark. You know, so it was really wild to like, like I'm. F the, the reason why I'm thankful is like, you know, I'm looking at it from the from the guy or girl that loves fucking sneakers, that idolizes what what you guys have done over the years and fucking you know what I'm saying like that. Mm -hmm. That shit's like it's like I wrote on that post, bro. It's like fucking Babe Ruth saying, "Yo, welcome to my house." You know that home run that I pointed? Here's the fucking bat. Yeah. Go ahead, check it out. Yeah. You know, like that, that's to me. You know what I'm saying? Now, if Clark, you know, you know Clark mentioned this shit once on a I'm stream. I'm gonna get Clark to do it. So, I'm gonna get Clark to do it. it. Bro, like that's, you know what I mean? I heard about this. Yeah. Now just go straight down this road. It's a straight shot to my job. And then when you come out, you come straight back here and he'll be out here with you. Bro, so you're my offensive coordinator. Offensive coordinator is supposed to sit here and read the defense and tell me what my best options are for what plays to make. So so I can make good offensive decisions. That's that Chiefs offensive coordinator. Right. And you got me out here going to the to the to the offensive. You got me going out there to play to run the play. Be careful, there's a dip right here. It's hard to see. You got me out here coming to run out plays. And I gotta call audibles every single time. I'm literally like Omaha, Omaha, computer blue, computer blue, because the plagues that you're calling aren't even for the same sport. <laughs> that cat's running a zone yeah. defense. He run his own defense. We're supposed to be playing <laughs> offense and running. How nice was that hotel room last night, though? How much I mean, you keep going, Jay. Keep going straight. Where that black car pulled yeah. up. Yo, so I tell him, let's be a little conservative with what we we're spending to get a room because we're gonna have to get three different rooms on this trip. Right. My man got me an executive suite with three <laughs> suites, four couches, How many sinks? eight windows, seven seven sinks on the top floor. They had a ball dipper. Bro, there there was a ball dipper in your room? Yeah. Go, straight, go straight to that side. Tonight we're staying at the Red Roof Inn to make up for it. Yeah, sleeping in the truck so, tonight. Yeah. It's, a, it's every other night we get a good one, then we get just... So you know how to get over there, right? Yeah. Just get out, make a left, and go Love straight Love you, bro. Down. I'll right, see you in a minute, bro. All right, fam. Yeah, hit me at, at five. I'll hit you up at 5 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. All right, that's Say less. So we're visiting family, we're visiting friends, we're, we're doing a lot down here. It turns out we're headed to Dallas after this. Yeah, um, yeah because of you. Like, yeah, 
We might have to leave tonight if we I want Dallas. I might have Dallas. to leave you here, and I'll just fucking call my own place. I'm gonna stare at the fucking stars in the sky, and I'll, I'll guide my way home. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, what do you do? How? <laughs> what do you? Damn, not even a hello. You're just telling me what he do, huh? So, um, yeah, just, bro, like how, how expensive? How expensive an item of fat joke does he break? And what do you need me to do about it? Oh my god. Um. Well, first off, how are you? I hope all is well. It's been a while. I'm good. It's been the last time I saw you uh, was when we were, you know, throwing a wedding at, at uh, UN. Um, no, last time you saw me, you took my money. Oh, that's right. I Well, I didn't yeah. take your money. That was Joey <laughs> Hamilton that took your money. You, I'm, you deboed me out of a fucking... I'm, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I don't take anyone's money. Um, so, I need to understand. I need to understand something. This guy was your assistant at some point, right? He assisted in, in he assisted things. He assisted in some things. He assisted yeah. in things that needed assistance. And in the assistance, yeah. there's play calling, right? At times, like there's plays that get called by assistants to assist to make sure that it helps and that you win, right? Yeah, they've been given the authority to make some decisions. Right. Yeah. So, bro. Help me understand what, how he assisted instead of detracts or like takes away from the objective. Because I have been so counterproductive these last three days. <laughs> My man has added so much time to every project. Literally like just, I feel like I'm, I feel like uh. But, but I did. I did get all the shoes in the truck, which saved us a few hours. Yeah, but if you wasted 14 of them for doing whatever it is. Yeah, he's got me back to negative three them. hours. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, Ernest is a special character, you know, for what for what he lacks in uh, organization, he makes up for in, in humor. And they do say <laughs> laughter is the best medicine. What he so. makes, what he, what he lacks in, in organization he provides in procrastination. Got it. <laughs> yeah, there's always a there's always a urn. It's procrastination. Yeah, urn, so. procrastination. Yeah, there's, always, there's always an urn at the end. Yeah. I kind of lose my shit last night. I fucking go off a little bit, but I was hangry mm -hmm. for the record. I drove a truck with mm -hmm. no radio, no USB, no Bluetooth option. No, like I'm just in silence with my own thoughts. And most of my thoughts are like, how the fuck is Ern guiding me through this shit, right? I'm very, I'm very codependent. <laughs> I've, I've, I've recognized during this three and a half hour silent drive that I'm very codependent of Ern, right? Yeah. Um, it's and not a good uh, situation to be in. No, 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 not at all. And uh, hold on one sec. <laughs> Park and jump in the truck. What's up? Park and jump in the truck. I'm sitting here and I'm like, I tell Ern last night, yo, check this out. I want to be able to have multiple options for times that we're going to leave from Florida and what routes we're going to take so I could kind of figure out and advise my staff of when these shoes are going to get to the store. Right. And he's like, yo, so long story short, I figured it out, bro. We could get there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. All right. What time? Well, at some point in the day, like I, ca <laughs> I can't keep making these plays. When I'm at the front line, I'm, I'm playing football, I'm the quarterback, I'm looking at the defense, and I don't know if I'm supposed to call a running play or a, a pass play or a, a, you know, a flea flicker. He's got me just out here, like, just figure it out, like I'm playing Madden. He puts your helmet on backwards. Yeah, he like, put, he, he did put, he did That's make me put. Well, you know, <laughs> it's a lot of patience. I learned a lot of patience. You notice how I'm a lot more peaceful and patient these days. It's just. You know, is it because of Ern? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's because he's not around or if it's because he taught me patience. <laughs> As I was saying, and I was like, oh shit, that actually sounds pretty bad. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, bro. Well, I just wanted some input, man. I've, uh, needless to say, just wasted another four minutes, five minutes here. <laughs> yeah. I love you, bro. I'll see you when I get back, man. Love you too, man. You guys be careful. All right. Peace. Peace, y'all. You know, we came down to Florida to we came down to Florida to pick up Fat Joe's collection, but I got friends that live in the area. Okay, cool. And I'm kind of like trying to knock up a couple birds okay, at cool. the same time, but oh, yeah. I need some vintage dogs. So. Cool. Yeah. So we're. Uh...
How does this run? Sidewise? Yeah. That's a large. Then I'll take it. Stuff. This is all of our band stuff right here. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go through it all, uh, bro. Cause we have a lot of Disney. I don't know if you're into like Disney. That's really like popular right now. In, like the band. Yeah, I have a lot of making shit. Shit in the store now. Nah. Huh? I'm a f bro, listen to me. I'm gonna go through everything. Mickey with a gun. He's got a little musket. It's like the Fort Wilderness Lodge um, at Disney. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> Nicky with a little musket, a little strap. I think we both know. I thrifted like a Tupac rap to you like two and a half years ago. Insane. But I, I sold it. Um, How much did you buy it for? Oh, like $5. How much did you sell it for? 600 that was like this was before. At the time. This was at the time. It was like before was like, the rap to you like craze got really like yeah. like It was a minute ago too. So that was actually like a good price at the time. Like a, a good price to sell it. But at that point, I pretty much was just like Pay my started man. doing this full time. <laughs> yeah, this shit was crazy. We actually, the craziest part is we found it on, like we were like vlogging. So we have it on our YouTube, like us finding it and like him pulling it. It's, it's crazy, honestly. I can, we, it was fucking crazy. And we were just so happy to be filming that day. This one's a good ass one too. So you guys, vent, you thrift a lot in Florida, or do you guys go out of state and shit? We actually don't thrift a whole lot anymore. We, I don't. Is it just people bringing you shit in. Like I'd say, like fifty to sixty percent of it now, but uh, we still like have like little outlets that we yeah, buy through. Yeah. And also, we've actually just recently got back to going to like these donation centers where you pay by the pound. They're like outlets, like that, Goodwill yeah. outlet stores and stuff. You gotta get up early and go Every for day. like. Yeah, I know, I know it's yeah. <laughs> Germany. Yeah, it's a lot of but fun. It's cool. It's cool. Like, yeah. <laughs> we stopped going for a while, and I don't know why. And like, as soon as we started going again, we found a bunch of bangers, like yeah. Space Jam all over print, and like a bunch of other shit. And then we just like started getting back to it pretty heavy. But it's it's nice because you like you can get like cheaper tees because not everyone wants to spend like hundreds of dollars on t-shirts and stuff, you know. So yeah. you gotta have variety of stuff. We trade too. So people would bring a stack of shit in for like a pair of kicks or some shit. That's how we started. We actually started with just uh, with just vintage. You think this shit'll fit me? Is yeah. this like a uh, is this fucking like a? It fits like a large. Nah, bro, I'm the worst at that. I hate trying shit up. Too bad that's not an Orlando Shack shirt. Let's see what it is. Uh, 1985. That's like a medium though, man, right? Uh, I would. The 80s tees do feel a little bit small. Yeah, I would. I would probably say so. The thing is, you could probably get your size out of it, but it's just like. Uh. Nah, what'll happen is my wife will jack me for it. <laughs> <laughs> How many times like have I? Too? Huh? She, like she likes my closet. <laughs> it makes you borrow your She'll own shit She'll be like, what back. do you mean? I've had that in my closet for years. What are you talking about? But bro, it'll be some shit that I just bought. I love her to death. Yeah, she's amazing. I should get her this shirt though. Dang she loves it. Yeah, she, yeah. We'll, buy, we'll give her this one for her. No, we'll say, hey, I got you a shirt. That's yeah. a really good one. No. Oh, bro. Was that Anything when you're no, trying? I just got that off. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that off. Oh, one. shoot. That was a hamburger, I'm pretty sure, too. Yeah. That's a fine hamburger, bro. Oh, the black crows. Oh, shit. <coughs> I wish some of these shits were my size, bro. Nice. But it's like young Small boy. as fuck, right? Damn, the too bad. The are like super small. Yeah. That shit is dope. Yeah, this bro. one I'd have to like wear my booty shorts with it. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> your fucking, your navel piercing will show. Yeah. There's like a bow on the back, that shit's crazy. Those two. I'm just laying these out so you can check them out. See if you see like the full graphic and shit. 
These were from in the bag. I'll take these two, bro. Alright, I got you. Give this Metallica as well. Yeah, that's good. Good back on it, too. Yeah, it's a bus head one. Yeah, this this sold. Sold. <laughs> sold. Hold on, let me see what we got over here. Yeah, he likes the porn. Oh, this Brown one's so cool, one yeah. I used to love this one, though. This is fucking fire. Yeah, I'm about to. This shit fit you? Nah, yeah, I'm, I'm 250, bro. Shit, I'm, I'm, I'm down near 250. <laughs> Looking ass. Oh. Are you paying for this? Um, for all the fuck ups that you've had me Where's for all the Dan? time. Where's <laughs> Dan? Dan. Hey man, he disappeared. Yeah, Dan, he's probably like, yo, probably like, I know you wanted me home, but Jay. Yeah. Fucking one. This one's really good. One of my favorite teas. <laughs> It's fire too. Oh, that shit was really dope. Like this this brand too. still got the tags on it. This is Young Boy, right? Young Boy McCoy. What do you think? A little young? Like I might be mm -hmm. fat man in a little suit vibe? Yeah. Back on that one's crazy. Yo. Take that one. Damn, a million magical hours. That. Somebody had to volunteer all that and you get it for, for nothing. <laughs> I'm getting it for yeah. something. If it's in well, the, trust me, if it's in this stock, I'll, I'll take that one. one. If I take that one, it's because if it's in this stock right here, it's because it's coins. Uh, this is the coin section, yeah, right? Too. Yeah, they're not all like crazy, but they're just, but, you know, they're so, yeah. they'll yeah. pay the rent. For their category, <laughs> they're like better tees for their category. I'm so, sorry, like, was this in no, no, go. That's a go. You like this one? Yeah. You know, the unofficial state bird, since you're planning on going to uh, Dallas, right, on this trip? What's that? My bad. That shit is fire, though. Can I wear this to work? <laughs> yeah, you know, that's... A, yeah. I spent a lot of hours watching that show. That's <laughs> one. Yo, you don't understand how bad I want to get this out of my system. I haven't been able to thrift, like, not, not thrift, but, like, vintage shop in a while, man. The world's really weird right now. Um, and I just haven't really had a chance to just hit spots that are just not like close to us kind of thing as of late. You get that feeling like, you're, like you found? Like nah, I feel like there, I'm, I'm at peace, bro. But it is Buckle super awesome. Yeah, boy. Yo, that shit's kind of dummy. <laughs> we pretty much sold all of our cream all of it, dude. Shit, leading all up to the it, Super Bowl. Yeah. Unfortunately, this shit is dummy, but everybody's gonna be like, You're not even. A I can only hope it rains on the ride home. <laughs> you got a football team in your hometown now. Nah, but yo, look. Look, what are Yeah, all your homies home? on the Raiders. All the homies on the Raiders are getting mad. That well, one's for you. She said, Don't buy anything for him. Yeah, we'll this one's for you, too. Have you been taking it? Uh, the design, the design series. Uh, I think like 150 on that one. Five sixty, yes, five sixty. That was like a, that was like a buck. Oh, uh, that's far. And then I bought my and then stuff is still hanging up, right? Damn, can't get. <laughs> Uh, do you want a text or email receipt? Uh, no, I don't need it. You don't need it? Right, Last the fucking box. Well, thank you. I'll repost it. So much. Thank it's you. really nice meeting you, man. Likewise, guys. Yeah, I nice really you guys, it. yeah. So, logistics wise, if we leave tonight after dinner and drive four or five hours and get a hotel, then we can finish tomorrow night in Dallas around eight, nine o'clock, spend the night in Dallas, drive the whole next day to Albuquerque, and then still show up by Thursday evening in uh, Vegas. If you wanna go to Dallas. Otherwise, we just stay here and we continue back with the other um, route. What's the other route? The other route is going up to, uh, what was that place, not New Orleans? Um, I, Shreveport. I it up. Yep, going to there and then going to Albuquerque. Either way, we end up 
But can't we go Shreveport, Dallas? It's just super close. If we put another day on the trip, we can. No, but Shreveport is four hours from Dallas. Yeah. So tomorrow and we... And then from Dallas to Vegas, it's, it's 18 hours. Yes. It's just super close. If we put another day on the trip, we can. No, but Shreveport is four hours from Dallas. Yeah. So tomorrow and we... And then from Dallas to Vegas, it's it's 18 hours. Yes. We could go Shreveport tomorrow, but that's what I'm saying is the time you're going to spend, you're better off driving all day and spending the night in Dallas than getting to Dallas midday and then spending the day and the night. We're going to lose time. Does that make sense? Because if we go to Shreveport, let's say, tomorrow, and we spend tomorrow night in Shreveport, then the next day we get up, we're in Dallas by noon. But then when we stay in Dallas, see, we need to be to Dallas by tomorrow night. If we do Shreveport, then Dallas, we're there by Wednesday night. We won't make, we'll be to, we won't make it home unless we go 18 straight And that straight will put us hours. to fright. You've confused me in the middle yes. of giving me seven different scenarios. <laughs> so you're back to telling me I can either be home Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Yes. Yes. Amen. Which one do you, which one? I got one? lost when he said not New Orleans, but the other place. You know the other place that's four hours away from the other place. I can't. I can't There's work in just going out there to chill. No, nah, it was it was just to like Earn hasn't seen certain places. I haven't seen certain yeah, places. Yeah, we were just thinking hitting up New Orleans or something. It's yeah. I just feel that we're gonna I'm gonna be honest. I feel that you're gonna be tired the, tonight. Well no, it's not that I'm gonna be tired because I could drive, but yeah. I'm saying I feel like we're gonna have the itis after we eat this food. We might. Oh no, you're done. But I'm ready. I'll, I'll You're take ready the for wheel. Itis? I'll take the wheel, dog. Bro, I don't trust you, but you going to a Puerto Rico? Yeah, got Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna be hitting that chicharron. Oh. oh. I don't, this place is gonna put you down, kid. You might as well drink a <laughs> fucking drink. Fumble, fumble, <laughs> fumble, fumble, fumble. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Do they have pastadillos? It's called pal campo. Pal campo. Yeah. What'd you say? Do they have pastadillos? Pastelillo. 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 Pasta, pasta it's, 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 this man said, Pastelillo. <laughs> Pause. That's not, and they don't, I don't know what restaurant you're eating at. Pastelillo. I, I really hope you don't say that at dinner. Okay, so we're at dinner at a Puerto Rican restaurant. We have every... every, every <laughs> Why your eyes look like they're looking in two different directions at the same time? So, How many beers have you had? So, I wasn't drinking for a month, but these guys have been feeding me drinks. We gotta go. I'll, I'll catch you guys up later. I'll catch you guys up later. I think they're pretending it's my birthday. I, they've been feeding me drinks since I got here. I'm the only non-Spanish speaking guy at the table. I gotta go. So just got back from an amazing Puerto Rican dinner, ate some food like I've never had before, but uh, starting to realize as JC has been shopping and getting all this awesome stuff, we already didn't have uh, room in the truck, so a little bit of a panic right now. I'm not sure how me and Dan are going to get the rest of the stuff into the truck, but um, he's coming early in the morning. We're gonna try and pack the truck before Jay gets up and see what happens. Turns out we can't fit everything in this car, unfortunately, and we had a great uh, blog planned, vlog planned of me and JC taking everything back here, but uh, turns out we're gonna be riding in separate cars. Jay's coming back right now. This is probably getting fucking misty from the heat. Jay's coming back right now to get his credit card, some of his stuff out of the car, and then I'm driving to Vegas and he's following and we're just going, we're just going for it. So, yeah, we're out of here, Grand Orlando Resort, and uh, it's, a, it's a tough trip.
it is pouring out right now. Um, it's literally, it's pouring. I'm waiting for JC. Not sure what car he's in. Shit. What a day. What a day. Uh, it's pouring. Uh, so we're trying to drive all this shit back now to Vegas. You're probably wondering why I'm opening the door to another car and not a truck. And it's because after we bought, after we picked up Joe's stuff, we went up to Tampa and Orlando and St. Pete. I went and saw a bunch of friends. And then I hit up Vault 813 and Curated Heat. And well, I bought so much stuff. And we were, you know, getting Joe's stuff in there literally by the skin of our teeth with this truck. We had to upgrade the truck to get a bigger truck. We ran out of room. And the only way that Ern and I were going to be able to sit in the truck to drive back was if Ern sat on the steering wheel. And, well, Ern's a big boy. There's not enough windshield. So I got another car. And Ern's driving the truck. I'm driving the car. And I got pulled over. I wasn't speeding. I wasn't driving like an idiot. Enterprise hooked it up with a car with expired plates. So I'm driving across the country with expired plates. <laughs> I wonder how many more times I'm gonna yeah. get pulled over across the country. Yeah. Should be entertaining. Um, how was your drive so far? All right, you know, the thing's not the best driving, but it's working. All right, so we stopped, you know, for rest or whatever, got a little bit of food, whatnot. Um, but since we got gas to now, which was like, what, an hour and a half? <laughs> Feels like a day, but yeah. yeah. About an hour and a half. I've been making all these phone calls and I'm sitting here, I talked to Joe a little bit, and we got about 300 pairs that are like, where they've separated or the midsoles have crumbled or whatever, and I'm like, man, you know, I could either A, fix all of these, buy donor soles, get the work done myself, but it's probably gonna take me months because it's about 300 pairs, or I could call in some pros that do this for a living and um, like ask them to come in I sell them the shoes for a little bit lower price, 40 to $50. These guys could turn around and sell these shoes for like 100 to $200. And I give work to people that I think are the best at their professions, like Big A and Daniel. So when we get back to Vegas, those guys are gonna fly out to Vegas and they're gonna buy all 300 pairs that are destroyed and they're gonna make they're gonna fix them all and every single pair is gonna come with a certificate that's signed by Joe that says it was part of his collection it's crazy so 300 shoes I'm not even in an hour um jeez so I've been calling Ern like every 15 30 minutes just to check up to make sure he's passing out or sleeping or drooling on himself while he's driving And Ern's like, look, we're like 40 miles from Shreveport, but I'm at a quarter tank of gas, which technically gets you to Shreveport, but his fear from the Utah escapade. So his, the fear of what happened in Utah happening again has him paranoid. And he's like, I gotta stop, even though it's 35 minutes. And even though he told me we were gonna get to Shreveport at like 11, at first it started at 11, but somehow Ernst finagled it to 12.40 and now probably one in the morning, which is messing up tomorrow. I've paid for hotel rooms that I'm technically, at the rate that I get there, I'm gonna have to check out when I get there because Ernst gotta stop every 20 minutes. Um, we get to this gas station that he needs gas at and I'm like, all right, well, maybe I could use the bathroom. Screw it, I'll get a bottle of water. I ran and drink water. And Ern takes the one gas station that's closed. It's closed. <laughs> so no bathroom, no gas, no, no beverage. But we will be at a casino in less than 25 minutes. The entire day, dog. Your GPS, your ETAs, 
have been passed backwards. Tomorrow's a new day. Yeah. Tom Tom tomorrow's a new day. Every ETA he tells me he's going to put me in a next year. <laughs> oh, you got to see my shit. My shit is a movie now. Like mine, you could, you could like, take the phone, take the camera, the barcode, scan up, and pull all the yeah, data yeah. from all, everywhere and tell you this like is what you need to buy and sell it out. Yeah, fuck yeah. Let me change this. Huh? Like two weeks ago, I seen this shit. Look, Ben had bellies. <laughs> you already seen here in Dallas. Out here in Dallas, it's been a minute. You know, but every time, yeah, every time yeah. I come to the city, I come check this place. This is the best vintage spot in all the city. <laughs> You gotta pick off all the ones. Good, good man. Good, man. JC, yeah. nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. It's my boy Ern. Hey, hey. Good to meet you, Ern. how are you? Nice to meet you I too. I didn't even know he was in town, but he's a new <laughs> shop owner, a good friend of mine, oh, yeah. Charles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. How you been, man? You just got done with Jason. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I was gonna run down to the warehouse, grab some stuff, but I don't think we're gonna have. It, how long actually it take, your, How long of a drive is it to go over there? It's actually on y'all's way out. So, is it? Uh, so yeah, when you, you could you headed out 35 towards. Uh, more than likely, yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Right? We're headed to Amarillo, yeah, that direction. So that's, the best, that's the best way to go. go okay. Straight. So they're not, we'll go there. Yeah. I mean, I, like, this was literally the only stop I, I had intended. That two pack? How does this sticks one fit? <laughs> yeah, it's a small one. I don't know. Johnny would probably like that, right? Yeah. You want the 90s? Nah, not me. I like everything. If it's the older, the better. Big Willie Clinton, bro. This is punch. You've had this punch for a while, huh? Yeah, it's short. I mean, it's short. Can I get this Eric Clapton? Probably two. This is. You don't know nothing about that. You know what I mean? Youngster shopping. And then that opens, that breaks the ice, and then you get to tell them the story, and it's all part of the sales tactics, but he doesn't crazy shit like that. I think that's the Descendants. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Steely Dan. Yeah, I, I need this one too, but. This mode is a solid one. Yeah, we got two or three stories. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A little bit of everything, yeah. This one, a little young boy, right? Huh? A little young. Y'all get a bunch? Yeah, I got a lot. That's one we make right there. That's a, I make that shirt, so it's... Yeah, man, I'm always blind. Yeah, let me... Yeah, let me... It's dope, but then it's like, how many Eric's can you have? You could never have enough Eric Clapton shirts, bro. <laughs> yeah, but I can't wear this to the shop, man. Right? Yeah, I'm crazy. You have to. I've been there, <laughs> So, we're in here doing a little vintage shopping still. Um, putting it down for the record the vintage shopping is going to change some of our calculations so later on this comes back on me you know what's going on we're actually going to a warehouse after this to see a ton more of this stuff which is pretty exciting so uh we'll check in soon we're gonna get there in time because i'm driving the car and the car could actually go more than 60 miles an hour so you might not make it on time but I, i'll be there and I'll let you know of anything that's going on ahead of you before you. Nice. When are you supposed to get back? When I get there. <laughs> that's, that's what he says to now. We're supposed to be back really tomorrow night by 8 o'clock. That's when the employees are going to be ready to empty this truck. It's about 17 hours, but that's like non-stop in a car. Yeah, every time my man was like, we're going to get there at this time, like to a stop or a, a destination. Yeah. Maybe all. By like three hours. Me, and then I'm like, I and then I keep telling them, I keep telling them, I'm like, bro, do me a solid. Stop going to gas stations that are only gas stations that are like hole in the walls. Go to the ones where there's like civilization. We're only going to Love's like, now like, with showers and yeah, everything. We're like, there's food. My man stopped six different times, bro. I didn't get no food. Six stops. I was stopped. 
Man, I was going nuts, bro. And then, and then, <laughs> yo, no, listen. Then he stops last night at one gas station. Right? It got potholes and everything in the gas station, right? I'm like fearing that he's gonna pop a tire. I'm thirsty and I gotta go to the bathroom really bad, right? We get there, it's closed. And he's like, oh, there was another one. I just figured this one said 24 hours. But there was the one that you were talking about going to. It was like, it's three more minutes. <laughs> it was the up. next exit. Uh, and it was. Murder him, bro. It was 24 hours, but just the gas pumps. That's what they didn't tell you. So you pull up and you could get gas, but everything else is shut. Yeah. At least you driving a car, not the fucking truck. Yeah. Believe me. Yo, this big is good. Look. Yeah, and then he rides behind me and tells me, oh, that's dope. Then he just rides behind me and calls me and tells me how bad I'm doing. Like, bro, I just saw you hit the side of the road there. I, I saw that. I'm just here for the burgers, bro. Oh my god. I'm just here for the bird. This was like That's the best show on TV, I think. Welcome back to I ain't doing no more business with them, man. Damn, I That's more like your stuff, but like I got a little belly. I can't really fit it all. Hey those glasses, bro. Hey, how you feel how you feel after that COVID shit? What was that? How do you feel how after you feel after that COVID shit? You straight? Honestly, I feel like stronger than ever. <laughs> yeah, it's because they shot the quarantine in the back, yeah. then the, they put it right in his. All right, cool. I know we got some good I'm buying all of these. Wow. Joey, you got the Nah, they covered it all up nice and Come on, bro. Bro, you can just show me like piece by piece. All right, look. There's one, and there's two, and there's three, and four. Oh. Dude, we got so much vintage, we had to take a separate car. I bought so much vintage, I had to get a second rental car. I'm trying to link up with this dude I know in Arizona. He, uh, he's been working at the stadium uh, for the past 20, 30 years. He's like, oh, yeah. man. It's a, Japanese, it's a Japanese brand. Sorry about the little bag. Enjoy your yeah, massive bags. <laughs> <laughs> We now at, are at an undisclosed location. We are at the Vintage Warehouse. So we're about to see what's going on in here. This is crazy, look. This is crazy. So, the, so this, those are this, all modern. This is a... Uh, These are vintage shirts here. These are vintage shirts here. And Trent, what you got? What do you have pulled for that? Uh, I mean, y'all can look at anything, but this is kind of stuff I just... That's kind of fire, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be tough. Jay, Jay, ah, where are you? Right here. Oh shit! Yo, this is crazy. Forty-six hundred pairs of '90s Lee and Wrangler jeans, dead stock. Wow. Help, and I was touted as the best assistant the world's ever seen. And, <laughs> and here I am, logistics master. The rest is history, right? <laughs> uh, this guy is Lord of, Lord of the Logistics over here. Uh, <laughs> I think we should just go, and then we stop where we need gas. Yeah. Just to, like, because if you stop, if you don't stop, not, you got to keep in mind, like, I'm, we're I'm tired. No, yeah, no, we'll do it on the highway, I but. Need the break, I need the break, like, when you run out of yeah. gas, which is probably in another hour or two. Hour. We're to a quarter, that's what I'm saying, so. Oh, well, then, fuck, okay. We'll go a little ways. I'll go as low as I can. 30 minutes. Let's drive 30 minutes or something, man. 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 2 seconds. How about we do an even three? Uh, so I'll I'll do that. Yeah, man. Appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, as you can see, it was, uh, it was unique, um, to say the least. But uh, if you like this video and you're curious to see Fat Joe's collection or some of those shoes that we sold to Big A and Daniel Grant Custom, the two previous videos are the ones that have a recap of those moments and the shirt that I'm wearing and a couple different other colorways drop on April Fool's Day on Shop 2J's Closet. See you guys later.